Hello YouTube, so I know I haven't posted a video in like a month or so and that's because I've been quite busy with my schoolwork and because the laptop that I ordered had malfunctions, I had to send it back to the reseller and they didn't admit their problems with it so we had to argue about that and I finally got a refund and I'm ordering a new one, hopefully it's coming in a few days um, and I can set it up for my new videos. So. Before we begin, uh, today's video is going to be about how to create 3D item models or block models, depending on what you want to do. And it was recommended by somebody. I said I was going to post a video soon about it, but I kind of failed to do that. Uh, but here it is. I finally got it out. So I'm going to have what, before you start, you're going to have to get these three items. You're going to need a resource pack that you want to put the model in, obviously. Uh, for me, it's just MC War SP. And you're going to have to have a model creator. Um, so the one I use is OPL's model creator, and I'm going to be using OPL's model creator for this tutorial. So to get OPL's model creator, it's free. You go online, search up OPL's model creator, go on their Minecraft forum page, and you can download it there. And you'll also need, if you're replacing an item, only if you're replacing an item, uh, you'll need the item model. Now to get the item model, you can either go into your resource pack, and it should already have it in models, item, and it should already have them. Um, if you do not have them, then what you can do is you can go into your Minecraft folder, I already have it pulled up, and you go to versions, in most, the latest version pretty much, and you unarchive it, and the fan is going to start revving up a little bit, I think. Oh, it's fine. And you want to go to the assets folder right here. And sorry if this fan noise bothers you. I don't have my microphone with me, so yeah. And you come to here, models item and here are all the models in vanilla minecraft so you just drag them to the desktop whichever ones you want to replace yeah so I think we're done with this um, so let's begin so I already pulled up my model creator too uh, what you'll need is the UV editor here the texture manager and the face data settings I'll show you how to open them up so you go to view dialogues texture manager this is your texture manager um, UV editor and face data settings basically all the dialogues so we're gonna be making a model for oak door so it's just gonna be a random model so for me to demonstrate basically everything you need to know about model creating so let's begin with creating a new item so you can see over here these are all the commands you have you have undo redo copy cut paste new element delete and toggle visibility of the texture. Now, delete doesn't work on the Mac, or at least on my Mac, it might work on others. So that's something you had to take note of. So what you had to do is you had to actually open this uh, drop down menu and select delete if you want to delete anything. So let's create a new object. I pressed N, here's a new object. Uh, the color doesn't represent the texture, it's just for your purposes. The textures are actually here, so right now it's completely clear. And you can see it is slightly larger than a block. The block is the gray cube, and the black cube is the model. So I wanna, if you want to make a normal size block, then you want to shrink it down. Like this. And now it's the same size. Now we're not going to do that, we're going to make some kind of weird model. So let's just do that. Alright, so we have this little cube rectangular prism thing. And let's say I want a copy of it. So control C, control V. Even on the Mac, it's control C, control V. Command doesn't work. So let's just drag it around, put it somewhere random, and you're like, whoops, I did that by accident. I didn't want to do that. So all I had to do is press control Z, and that will undo it. And then control Y if you want to redo it. So let's control Z. And we have this little model. 
And let's create a few more things. Yeah. So let's make a new cube and I don't know, we'll do something like this. And we want to control C, copy this, and control V, paste this. And it can also extend out of the block, as you can see here. As long as it doesn't extend more than one block outside of the cube. So make sure it's not too far out. Um, there's no gridding outside of the model, which kind of sucks. But if you can see, if it's this far out, it's not going to work. It has to be within one block. And you can just imagine another grid here. So within this, let's say. Because if it's outside of one block within this model, then you're going to have the black and purple, cursed black and purple cube that I have so much issues with. Um, so don't do that. So here we have the model. Cool stuff. Now what if I want to make more precise things? Uh, then we go to grid size. This is how many pixels basically the grid is. So right now it's at just 1.01 1 .01 pixel for one grid space. Let's say we want 0.25. Now I don't recommend you using point 0.1 because it's extremely detailed and it's hard to use. So I recommend point 0.25. And for point 0.25 you can just do things like this where you can make really really thin objects and you can also move them like quarter quarter pixels so you can have something like that. Alright so now that we have this model uh, I don't really want this so I'm just going to delete it and let's just get rid of some of it because to make things faster right so we have this model this is going to be our oak door I know it's not an oak door but bear with me here so I want to texture some of the faces let's texture this face this face this face oh, whoops this face this face this face and that face that face why not that face and this brings another thing into point. If you want to move things in the 3D view, you can actually do that. All you have to do is click these arrows, and you can actually move them along the axes that they represent. So I want to move it along the red axes, I can do that. And I want to move it along the green axes, I can do that. So here's my model. I textured some of the faces. The non-textured faces will just be clear. So now we need this stuff. So first you're going to need a particles. This is mostly for people who um, want to create a block tech, block model, but this is for you know an item. So this is not very necessary, but I like putting it here anyway. You have a particle texture. This is basically the particle when you break it, what particles can you use. Um, so we can find the MC path. The MC path is just the resource pack um, path. So if you go into the textures folder, the path from here. So I can go into items and I can go into beef cooked, for example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to items slash beef cooked. Sorry. Um, and where is it? Here we go. No, wrong one. Here you go. You can see that's right. Beef cooked. And it's in items. And you do not need the PNG, dot PNG. If you add the dot PNG, it's not going to work correctly. So make sure there is no dot PNG. So next we need to find the path. This is for your computer or for your program's sake. It has nothing to do with the game itself or the resource pack itself. It's just so that you can actually see the texture um, in the modeler. So that's also kind of important. So I can use beef cooked right here. And we have this. So uh, let's have another material. Let's call it Bob. And we're going to use, let's say, a block texture this time. Now, item and blocks are not limited to their textures in their respective folders. You can actually take textures from anywhere. So over here we have a sponge texture, so let's do that. Let's do blocks. Oh, here we go. Blocks slash 
spun. And we're going to find the path. Uh, we go to desktop. Here, let's bring it in here. And we want to go to MC War SP, assets, Minecraft, textures, blocks, sponge. So we have those two textures. You can add as many materials as you want. And we can just start texturing things. So let's first select the face you want to texture. And this is the UV editor. Now let me bring it back into a 1.0 grid. So you're actually moving along this thing. Okay, there you go. Um, so you can see here that this is a texture. This red box is basically the look or the location of the texture that it's going to grab for that face. So if I want to grab the entire bean can, then I do something like this. And you can see, if I deselect it, there's an entire bean can. And what if I want to rotate it? Then I can press 90 degrees. And it's going to rotate it 90 degrees for me. And so the bean can's now facing this way. And you can also flip and vertically, horizontally, all that stuff. So let's just finish texturing this thing, and I'll show you how to actually turn it into an item. Because once you export this, it's actually going to be a block model and not an item model. And this is just random texturing, just to be quick. There we go. And a few more faces back here. There we go. So we have this weird three rectangular prism thing. It looks really derpy, but you know, it's fine. So let's save it. Uh, file, save. And we go to the desktop because we want to save it there. And let's call it Crazy Door because it's crazy. It is crazy. And we can quit this. We're done with this. Now here you can see, here's Crazy Door. Now we want to put it in the item model. So over here we have the Oak Door item model. And you can see there's Parent, which is the original model. And we have the textures. And this is the display in first person and third person. Um, basically, their rotation, their translation, the scale on the X, Y, Z. For this, you're going to have to play with it because I didn't memorize what everything does. Um, you might be able to find online what it does, but there's not much information online about this stuff yet. So you just have to play with it yourself. You load it up into your game, and then you change it slightly and see what happens. Uh, usually what I do is I change it a lot, so it's obvious what it changes. Uh, so like for here, rotation, I'll change, or translation, I'll change this to like 40, and I'm going to see where the model ends up being, and you'll know what that translation is for. So let's open Crazy Door. This is your model and you want to put it here. So this block model um, you need to pick up everything here from created with OPL's model creator. That's not necessary but you know credit to the model creator. And all the way down to this hard bracket. Not this weird curly bracket. Okay, This hard bracket. You copy that and you replace parent and textures and leave that comma there that's very important and there you have it here's your model you save you close you have this new custom model let's go into MC War and let's place it in the door now this is for the door item of course so let's replace it you close it and we have our resource pack. We'll compress it here. Let's just call it archive, why not? And I already have Minecraft pulled up too, just for convenience. So we're going to have to go to the open resource pack folder. And let's get rid of this stuff because this was my failed video beforehand. Um, so we put in the archive. And we can minimize this. And click done, resource pack, there you go. There's the archive. Uh, let's go in single player, TNT run, and let's look at the model. 
So here you see it. Here's the weird model. You can see it on the ground. Um, it has the three rectangular prisms, and they're really weird looking. And interesting. Keep on picking it up though. You can see. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions, just post it in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe, and do whatever and whatnot you do after videos. And I'm out.